Back to working on the old gravity light here. Took a little break from it again. Uh, I got my string tangled. So I got some fishing line. Actually, it was nine pound tests. So I braided three of them together because I didn't think that'd be enough. And, uh, just put it through here. Got a piece of thread tied to the fishing line. Pull that through. And just tie it off. And I'm going to tie it this way rather than this way because this way will be around the shaft if it was to pull through. Which I hope it doesn't. So I've made a bit of a slip knot here. Once again I'm going over where the shaft will be. Just kind of trying to tighten it up. Let's see. It winds. We're going to wind it up this way. So actually we want it over. Well, I'm back to working on my graph light. Um, to rewind it, I need a little pull on one side. That'll be what I pull on while probably helping lift the weight on the other side because I really don't know how much weight it's going to take to drive the thing right now. Uh, but I will need something to keep tension on the rewinding string. And uh, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to compound scroll it, try to make it look interesting. I'm going to cut out the interior piece first. And then I'm going to cut out this side to that point, and then cut out the other side to that point, but not cut across. That'll hold everything in place until I cut out this side. Now on the ends I gave myself very little tolerance on the side, so I'll probably cut those in a little bit so that my structure stays together because I don't want to lose my pattern. I might actually start this side a little bit and then cut this side out, because otherwise if it gets too thin there I won't be able to figure it out. Alright, so I've cut out both sides, leaving the top right here. We still have it here. I still, for the most part, have my patterns on the sides. I lost a little piece here. should be. So I have a little sanding to do to get up the, the fuzzies and uh, round the corners a little bit so, so it doesn't sharpen the hand when you pull it. The structure is built to with the gearing and stuff to run the generator. I need to revisit the generator, kind of finalize some of the config on it. Um, several of the pieces are uh, the magnets were not recessed flush so when it was spinning some of them were catching on the ends so I just I'm re pulling them all out painstakingly one by one well this one I already loosened and uh, grinding down the inside so that they are all going to sit flush that way none of them can catch on the uh, the cores that are sticking out. Continuing with my refinement of the generator portion I've gone through, I've soldered all the wires together the way around and I'll, I'll do a closer look at that later now I'm gluing on some standoffs to help my gear line up properly here so we're going to do that. Basically I'm just, I drill them so they're a tight fit on these, uh, I think they're number six bolts. I'm just going to put it on here. I already put some glue on there and I'm just screwing it down and it'll squeeze out when it gets there. I've been slowly plugging along on my generator here for my grav light. I had uh, keyed and put this on. It has a little play, it does work. But uh, 
Actually, I'm using a set screw with this. I might have to go back and make a key for that, but for now it's going to work for my testing. I added this in. These are filled with actually fishing lead weights to carry the momentum to help the get over the static friction. They could be a little heavier, but uh, probably work for my testing. Um, the other thing I'm going to put on here now is some terminal screw downs for where the power is going to come off on here. Okay, I have everything on the wall right now. I, I haven't built the, the light piece yet. Uh, my terminal block is right here. My uh, lead filled component here for um, kind of carrying the momentum around. It's not quite heavy enough. Right now I have 40 pounds of weight on here and it's going to need probably another 20 to get it going with the but I think if I make these heavier because it's almost as it carries through with just a little assistance we can get it going maybe make it a hair shorter too to make it heavier I don't have a good way to do that do have these old fishing net weights that I I can use these kind of tie it on the sides here that'll help with the momentum to carry it through the static points here's a quick test um, with the new lead weights um, on the generator actually alternator in this case um, it's actually spinning a little too slow for my needs at this point I have 48 pounds on it right at the moment. One of the oversights I made in the design is it's not really far enough away from the wall for a free hanging set of weights. Uh, at the moment I just have some standard LEDs just hooked right up to the alternator. Oops. Just wanted to show this clip before I start making modifications to try and get it to go faster. For this piece I'm going to basically shorten this quite a bit. Got things hooked up now. Here I have a rectifier. Um, actually a one volt drop across that so I'm losing a little bit there. Um, I do have um, my light on here now. I'm still running a little too slow. I got a bag of rock and a 20 pound weight which is probably somewhere around 70 pounds. Uh, I don't really know what the bag weighs but it felt like 50 pounds or so. So it's spinning here. It's not quite enough to, to light the LEDs on here. Um, just a little faster than it would. So, for a test, I went and got something a little lower powered. Let's see here. Small, got a small flashlight. It's actually a 6 volt flashlight. Which so in here, I can go to the inside spring and go to here. So we got a little variance in the output here. A little more speed, a little steadier will be it's going to take a whole lot more to get a good light out of that. Just for a fact, I'm going to put this on here so you can see that it's sliding. Right there's where I want to go. Just a quick demonstration here. I've bypassed the rectifier and I just have the uh, lower voltage um, small LED flashlight here. Um, what you can see is the, the drop across the rectifier is about one volt. Or I think that's what the forward voltage was, is one volt. You can see, although it's only doing half the waveform right now, you're getting a much brighter result. Because we're not having that, that loss across the rectifier. Now if we do the same circuit, this time we go back on the rectifier. Notice how it speeds up when we take the load off. That's uh, interesting as well. Uh, 
Okay. So we lost a quite a bit of brightness once you go across the rectifier. So that's what I was going to do before to demonstrate. I don't know if you can really see the brightness difference. Oh, did I short it out? Shorted it out, it, the load's too great to, it stops right away. Okay, I have about 80 pounds on it right now. Just continuing the test without modifying. Um, here's the LED. I have two, um, have it hooked up so just two should light, which typically would take about 12 volts. I have a capacitor on here with a little charge that's bleeding through, and that's why there's a, a touch of light left coming through here. Um, but uh, with this extreme amount of weight, I'm now able to put the lighter, um, I guess you'd call it a flywheel type thing on here to carry the momentum through than the heavier lead ones that uh, I had before. So it's just short of being fast enough to get its full brightness. I'd like to get a little brighter. I'm a little concerned now because I did have get a feel for what we're generating. I believe it's about 10 volts. No, just under. A little more weight would give us 10. Huh. I'm going to try that. Alright. One more try here. Here. Okay. Close. I have one more pound weight I can sit on there. That's not bad. Well, that's going to be all for this video for now. I'm going to play around a bit more. Rework the uh, ratchet gear a little bit to get more leverage so I can do the same thing with a lot less weight. It'll reduce the run time a bit, but I should get more light out of it, a little more power. I might play around with a step up transformer. But uh, I'm going to make a little fixture if I can get it to work decent. Mm.